Welcome to April's monthly focus. I pray that March brought you so many blessings and we're going to continue on this month with the topic of growth. Just as a reminder, you can get all of our monthly focus words by picking up your copy of Dear Father God calendar on DearFatherGod.com. Now, growth isn't just about sticking to the familiar. It's about embracing change and sometimes even opting for new paths because you've learned to recognize your options. It's about finding strength in doing what is right or even at times doing the opposite of what you're used to, knowing it will lead to better outcomes, peace, or health wherever God is leading you. Take, for instance, someone who habitually complains. Imagine the growth that comes from choosing silence and a different perspective. That's growth. With growth comes patience, but it also brings results and reasons to celebrate the progress we're making. As we embrace the blossoming of this spring season, let's also be mindful of the holidays it brings and the promise of growth. May we find peace in the presence of God as we navigate this journey of growth. Remember, adjusting to change takes time. Stay persistent and consistent and living out your purpose, even when faced with challenges. Just like the figures of the Bible who found joy in their afflictions, let's hold on to that faith and meditate on James 1 verses 2 through 4, which reads, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. So we are never alone in our struggles. There are many believers just like us facing similar trials. But believe that these troubles are temporary and God will guide us to our promised plan. Let's maintain momentum and find rest in God's presence as we embrace the growth of this new month. Take note of the areas where you see God's hand at work guiding you towards change and transformation. And if you're enjoying the steady flow of growth and insights from these monthly focuses, I'd love to hear from you. Please share in the comments what you've gained from this journey so far. Let's end with this month's prayer from the Dear Father God 2024 calendar, which is available on DearFatherGod.com right now. Dear Father God, we thank you this April for the gift of each new day. We ask for your forgiveness and the strength to forgive others. Be with us as we navigate this month, turning to you in every aspect of our lives. Sharpen our discernment and help us recognize growth in your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.